Now, we hear a lot these days about something that's called the rules-based international order. I'm sure you've heard this phrase. Politicians and other experts invoke it whenever they want to send a few billion dollars more to some other country. But let's be clear on what we're talking about. The rules-based international order isn't some kingdom of heaven. It's a form of liberal empire. It's founded on allow capital to move freely and empower the giant multinational corporations that somehow America and the American people will be better off for that. Somehow will make America more like the world and the world more like America. Free minds and free markets or something like that. That's what we promised anyway for years now. Listen, there was never a time when that was a good idea. And it is apparent now that it has been disastrous from this country almost from the start. All the way back in December 2001, we admitted China to the World Trade Organization. That, I will submit to you, will go down as one of the gravest strategic errors committed by any great power in the last two or three centuries. Simply put, it has been a disaster for this nation. Now, that's not what we were told at the time. They also argued that this would democratize China. Do you remember that argument? That this somehow would lead to an opening up of the Chinese regime and that if we brought China into the global economic order, Tiananmen Square and other horrors would be things of the past. Well, having been in Hong Kong in the fall of 2019, I can tell you that was a catastrophic misjudgment. And the Uniparty's claims were catastrophic mistakes. One country, two systems was not China's first broken promise. After joining the WTO, China promptly cheated. The Chinese Communist Party took full advantage of its access to global markets to enrich who? Itself. Good blue-collar jobs that once provided Americans with a living wage were siphoned off overseas. Meanwhile, the Chinese Communist Party got rich as the Chinese economy boomed. They built their military on the backs of our middle class. And now that military, not only massive, but increasingly modernized, is poised for a cross-strait invasion of Taiwan. And what do our leadership... We have the largest military in the world. We spend over $1 trillion every year. And the state, your state of Missouri, is over half the people are in poverty. China is not our enemy. The climate crisis is. We need to be serious about the climate crisis. That is the GDP we need to focus on in Ukraine and with China. We are continuing to have more aggression with China. And we are spending it's interesting. This administration wants to use the climate crisis as a justification for its agenda in Ukraine and elsewhere. Maybe they ought to visit with that gal.